time to rock and roll. Going on a three-night overnight camping trip in Wanderer, meeting up with my good friends Brenda Tharp and Dead Man Waring. We're going to be in their Sprinter van. We're going to the Carrizo Plains, Southern California. See you when we get there. Well, I just heard on the GPS that there's an accident up ahead that's causing a 35-minute delay. So I thought I would take a stop here where there's a Starbucks at Santa Nella and make myself some lunch. Got myself an iced mocha. And hopefully by the time I'm done, traffic will be moving again. So I'm having a homemade hummus on homemade bread with spinach here. And like I said, hopefully once I'm finished eating and get going, the traffic delay will be all over with and I won't lose any time. So that's the plan. So that's my friends Jed and Brenda in the van up ahead of me. And we're going to be spending the next couple days together photographing and exploring van life together. So we just met up at the entrance to Carrizo Plains. And here comes Brenda. So say hi, Brenda. Hi. Hey, how are you? This is my friend Brenda Tharp. And nice yeah. to see you all. <laughs> so here we are at the Carrizo Plains. And you can see the flowers are pretty good. There's already some photographers out here. Try to walk in established trails. So this is our campsite, got quite a nice view. So Wanderer is with its cousin, so here's Wanderer, and then we'll walk up. They haven't figured out a name yet for their van that they've settled on. But here's Brenda and Jed. So we got cousins. Our vans are cousins. <laughs> right. Put socks on. It's getting cold. It is be nippy today. Yeah, it is going to be cold. And you probably can't see the full moon, or it's probably pretty little. But we have a pretty big moon. Lots of color out there. Could end up, well, it looks like it's going to hit a dark band of clouds. I don't, it's either going to be really great or just eh, but nothing in between tonight. Yeah. Yeah, the layers make it look like two suns. So, Jed, peek your head out and say hi. We haven't met you yet. <laughs> Ah, okay, that's important. And there's Jed. Through the mag magic magnetic door. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get. I've got to get my screen put on. Oh yeah, it works great. Cool. And I told Jed I brought mine. Think maybe he could help me that I forgot my step stool. 
I left it home. Ah, yeah, <laughs> that is a little bit of a Yeah, we couldn't do it without. Yeah. Well, we can use one of the styles on the branches here. Just back up the styles and use their steps. Maybe. All right. Well, cool. I was thinking of trying my Coleman 4 and one tonight and grilling. I've got salmon. I was going to try to grill on the Coleman. Tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't used it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we got cousin vans, they've got a side ladder. Uh, I can hear their heaters on already. I haven't turned mine on yet. It's getting a little chilly, it's probably in the 50s. But it's going to be in the 30s tonight. So maybe if I was smart, I would turn on my heater, but it's pretty warm in the van, except I left the door open, so that didn't help. All right, so I'm going to hop in, turn the lights on, close the door. It is nice and warm in here now. So I kind of made a mess, threw my cameras on the bed when we took off, but looking good. So I'm going to get out my Coleman 4-in-1 grill and uh, see what I can do here and cook some dinner. Good morning. So I just kind of woke up, made breakfast this morning. Uh, Jed and Brenda are camping a couple of feet up the path here. We had a nice night. It's about 36 outside right now. It's a toasty 66 or so in here. I've had the heater running all night long. Um, I've got my InstiConnect set up, which is my Wi-Fi system. So I'm just going to sit here and uh, I don't get any cell service here. I'm on Verizon. I get no cell, but with InstiConnect, I've got an AT&T SIM and a Verizon SIM. And I guess the AT&T is the one that's picking up the signal real well. But I'm going to uh, sit here and read the Sacramento Bee. And the Kings won last night, so that I think clinches the Pacific Division. So I'm going to read the newspaper and eat my breakfast. Catch up with you a little bit later. A little glimpse of our campsite area this morning. Looking pretty good. Keep leaving the door open and letting my heat out. Looks like Jed's up this morning, and we're going to go exploring in a little bit. And we're just cruising along the Carrizo Plain. You can see all the wildflowers everywhere. Brenda's riding along with me this morning for a little bit. We've got a walkie-talkie, so we're in contact with Jed. And we're going to see if we can find some good places to photograph. We ended up at Shell Creek Road, which is outside the National Monument because we ran into another photographer and he told us the flowers were really good up there. And here are the few of the images I made when we were on Shell Creek Road. Whenever it's windy like this, instead of photographing flowers in detail, I tend to put on my macro lens, get in close, and work with selective focus because I'm never going to be able to get everything sharp dealing with all the wind. And thanks to a suggestion from Jed, I tried multiple exposures in camera and got some interesting effects.
But it's always a lot of fun laying down in the flowers, shifting the lens's focus, and watching the pictures change. It was a pretty nice afternoon. So today we had a great day photographing the wildflowers here in the Carrizo Plains. And uh, tonight for dinner I'm trying something new. This is my Coleman 4-in-1. I decided I was going to grill salmon inside. So I brought with me uh, some frozen salmon that I picked up at the grocery store. I defrosted that in the microwave oven. I've cut up some asparagus. I'm going to fire up the 4-in-1 uh, and I'm going to grill me some salmon. I've got the exhaust fan on to suck the air out of the van, and I'm probably going to open up a little bit of a window and make get some air flowing a little bit better now that I think about that. So I'm going to crank open this window just a hair. That's too much. I just want to do the little, the little setting here, and I'm going to put up the bug screen just in case. And now I'm going to, let's see, got the water in, got this thing here, turn the gas on, hit the start button, fire it up. I'm going to do the grill top, so I'm going to put that on. So do some asparagus on here. I think actually I'm going to put the asparagus on first. some olive oil on the asparagus. There we go, garlic powder. I've already got seasoning on the salmon and plop that on the grill. Pretty cool. So I'll let you know how it turned out. Well, it came out great. Got my salmon and my asparagus. It smells a little fishy in here, but not too bad. The fan's sucking most of it out. So um, I'd say the Coleman 4-in-1 worked really well. Uh, something I'll use again. It's kind of fun to grill and do something a little bit different. Uh, it actually, also if you're in a situation where power level is concerned, I'm not using the electric, so I can still cook. That's pretty cool. So, uh, so far, I'd say it works really well, and I'm happy with the purchase. I'm glad I got it, and I'm going to enjoy my dinner. After two days in the Caruso Plain, we decided to drive over to the Poppy Preserve in Lancaster, California. I'm in four-wheel drive in the Sprinter, so I'm following Jed and Brenda. So far it hasn't been too bad. There's been a couple spots where I think I was glad I was in the four wheel. Kind of a bouncy, topsy-turvy kind of road here. Good thing is I get to see how tilted dead is before I go and try something. So we're outside the Antelope Poppy Preserve in Lancaster, California exploring some dirt trails. That's a good camping spot up here too.
I'm more concerned about finding a place to turn around once we get up there. That too. So maybe we should park it here and have a good walk. Okay, after lunch. Kind of a nice place. I have a funny feeling we're going to spend the night here, probably. And then a little trepidation about this hill. Jed and Brenda are pretty heavy in their van and they're a little worried about it. If I was here by myself, I'd go up. Um, I'm just concerned about finding a place to turn around when you got to the top, but it looks like it connects to some other roads. But we're going to walk up and see what it looks like uh, after lunch here. So, pretty cool spot. So this is Jed and Brenda's van. And I'm over here. these when the wind is howling. Well, you're not going to get them sharp by focus stacking in the wind like this. Not really going to get them sharp by shooting a wide angle shot either. So what I'm going to do is just do some kind of close-ups and abstracts and be a little more artistic in my uh, approach. So I'm going to get in close. And I'm just shifting the macro lens around, I'm looking through the camera, trying to find a good composition. I'm using a fast shutter speed. Got my ISO set up. Oh, I'm going to go up to about a thousand. Pretty wide open. I'm on aperture priority. And I'm getting shutter speeds of about eight thousandths or ten thousandths of a second. So that should freeze the motion I'm getting. And now I'm just going to try to focus on parts of flowers and do soft focus, kind of color blurs, and see what happens. It's all a matter of experimentation. I'm looking through. And first and foremost, having fun. So just shifting the lens, I can be in the same place and just shift the lens focus from the close flowers to the further flowers and end up with totally different images and compositions. So I'm trying to shoot through the colors and do some blurs and Finding one thing to focus on. The real trick is trying to see on the back of the LCD in the bright sun. Not quite so easy. But if I pull this out and angle it up, I'm having better luck this way. So just trying different things to try to make a photograph here. And hopefully tomorrow morning we can get out before it gets super windy. Oh, that's pretty good, except there's one thing in the way. There we go. So you never know what's going to be the winner until you see it on the big screen. Well, time to say goodbye. Oh, you're heading out? Yep, time to go. Yeah, it was so good to see ya. It was great.
great to see you. Thanks for driving all the way to, from Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You and flowers, anything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And we'll meet up again in June up in Canada on our yeah. way to Alaska. Yeah. yeah it's going to be fun. Cool. Yeah. All right. We'll have, we'll, both of us will have sorted out things that we need to take for that trip. Oh, yeah. Yep, that list is growing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah.